Jane Frances de Chantal was a woman of great faith and an inspiration to many. She was born January 23, 1572, into a prominent family of Dijon. After her mother passed away when she was a baby, her father was left to raise her. He was a man who was very spiritually connected, and under his influence she continued fostering her belief in God. Linger on, your pale blue eyes. At the age of 21, she married Christophe de Chantal. Entering this marriage, her husband accumulated large amounts of debt. However, Jane was a good-hearted woman. She was able to manage the estate and control the financial stress, showing a great deal of faith and perseverance. She held community dear to her heart and maintained a very close and loving relationship with her husband and children. She was a servant in her community, where she fed soup and bread to the poor who came by her door. People who just received food would manage to get in line again. And when asked why she let people get away with this, Jane said, what if God turned me away when I came back to him again and again with the same request? Your pale blue eyes. Seven years into her marriage, her husband was shot in a hunting accident, and Jane became devastated. She struggled greatly with forgiving the man who shot him. After a while, she built up the strength to greet the man on the street, and once she managed to do that, she invited the man into her house. She was so forgiving and accepting of God's grace that she eventually became the godfather of his child. I'd put you in the mirror. I put in front of she continued to care for the poor and the sick and looked after her children. And when she was 32, she met the Bishop of Geneva, St. Francis de Sales. He became her spiritual director who helped her through these difficult times. He was the one who inspired her to live a monastic life dedicating herself to God. Like many saints before her, she founded a religious order and called it the Visitation Order. She took in women who were neglected by other orders because of their age or health, and she became a teacher and inspiration to them. She even became a spiritual teacher for her daughter, serving as an example of how faith can impact lives. During this time, religious cloisters of women were frowned upon. However, Jane didn't let this little obstacle stop her. Under her lead, the Visitation Order freely undertook spiritual and corporal works of mercy. They traveled all over France and Italy doing kind works and opening visitation homes. She was a great example to these women of a saint filled with virtues such as humility, prudence, faith, and love. Jane was a woman who was no stranger to death. She lost not only her husband, but also her sister, brother, her parents, her religious director, and five of her children. Yet she managed to see the light of God and sought community in her order that she founded, so she never felt alone. One quote of hers greatly reflects her religious outlook on life. Should you fall even 50 times a day, Never on any account should that surprise or worry you. Instead, ever so gently, set your heart back in the right direction and practice the opposite virtue. All the time speaking words of love and trust to our Lord after you have committed a thousand faults, as much as if you had committed only one. Once we have humbled ourselves for the faults, God allows us to become aware of in ourselves we must forget them and go forward. She died when she was 69, leaving her religious order and her legacy to impact so many today. But it 
It's truly, truly a sin.